Hello students, this is Ms. Shruti Srivastav, Faculty of Computer in Mount Nitrazi School, Jhansi. Today, we are going to discuss the topic Tenets of Digital Citizenship, where tenets mean the principle of the digital citizenship. So, here you can see the mind map for the same, which have six major points. First one is respect yourself, second protect yourself, third respect others, fourth protect others, Fifth, protect intellectual property. And the sixth one is respect intellectual property. So let's go in the details. First, respect yourself. We need to respect ourselves in the digital world. Online respect starts with your online username with which people recognize you on social networking sites. From your name, people create your image and visualize the kind of person you are. So, Suppose if you are adding any kind of adjective before your name, then you must be very careful that with which by which the people can create your image and visualize the kind of person you are. So while posting the information online, we should be very careful as it may spoil our image. Second one is protect yourself. The internet is a public platform. Whatever you post remains there for life. If in anger you post something inappropriate online, it can have serious consequences and you may regret your decision. Do not share any thoughts or photographs that can put you or your family down. It is good to trust friends, but there is no need to trust anybody with pictures or thoughts that can embarrass you. Respect others. It is very important to respect others in the digital world like we do in the real world. Posting anything rude about anybody can hurt the feelings of other people. Rude messages are stored on the internet even if you delete them. If there are instances of disrespect, we should always report it to the concerned person rather than forwarding it to other people. Fourth, protect others. We as digital citizens have some responsibilities towards other citizens in the digital world. We should never accept bullying or any other inappropriate behavior online. Our goal should be creating a culture of mutual respect and politeness. We should not forward any inappropriate and rude messages that can harm others. Point number 5. Respect intellectual property. In the real world, we do not copy anyone else's work without their permission. In a similar way, we should not copy any information from the digital world without permission. As you all know, internet is loaded with information. We should respect the online material by mentioning the source or the website from where the content has been taken. It is not correct to copy the content from internet and use it for completion of your tasks. Suppose if you are taking help from any website, then you must cite the resource or the name of the website from where you have taken the content. In this way, you can respect the intellectual property or the online material. Point number six, protect intellectual property. Intellectual property belongs to somebody else, so you should never claim it as your own. Before using someone else's material, we should take permission. If we do not take permission and use online material, it is considered as theft of information or plagiarism, which I explained you in my previous video. Imagine how would you feel if somebody takes your essay and claims that he or she has written it. We should always use paid software instead of pirated one. So, Digital citizenship is the use of appropriate, responsible, respectful and safe behavior while using technology. Respect other people's work. Do not edit or erase without permission. If you see something that is wrong, tell your teacher or a trusting adult. Think before you speak. Give constructive feedback. Think before you post or comment. Treat people and equipment with respect at all times. Keeping all these things in mind, you need to answer these questions. First one is, how do you communicate online? Is rudeness okay on online platform? If no, then why? And my second question is, 
what are the etiquettes that you should follow while communicating online you have to explain this question in your own words both the questions you need to do in your rough notebook and here is an activity also for you where you have to put a tick mark against all the things that you do in your digital life first sending and receiving text messages second sharing your personal information online third sharing pictures and videos with your friends through mobile phone fourth cracking jokes on other people on facebook fifth using an online essay to complete your homework by doing this activity you can analyze yourself that how how much good digital citizen you are thank you